Junior Team Championships. Gentlemen, shall we start, please? And really a difficult one to call. Certainly the f home support will be behind will be behind the Scottish boys. The Scots ranked 78 in the world. The French ranked 131. Never played each other. So, uh, We'll certainly find out a lot about these two pairs in the next few minutes. And of course, if you're following us and watching us, don't forget to tweet us using the hashtag SOGP. We're delighted to hear from you and we can call out as many tweets as we can during the course of the afternoon. Of course, the, uh, the prize for the winners of this match will be a matchup against strong Danish pairing Conrad and Kolding of Denmark. That's Peter Kolding, of course, winner here, I think, in 2009. Three, but first things first for both these pairs. And a good start for the Scots, leading 3-1. And it all changes so quickly on serve receive in men's doubles. It's uh, as Mark just said, it's 3 1. Now it's 3 all. I think I barely had my sentence finished, and it was 3 all. And so much of it is on serve at the moment. Bastian just caught a little bit flat footed. Lots of power being shown in this match, and there's nothing in it. Um, I think the Scotch boys have just. Uh, Stop the shuttle a little bit better at the net. Um, but there's quite a bit of testosterone out there at the moment. They're both all uh, sort of uh, hitting and testing each other out. Yeah, nice return of serve from Mittelheiser. Service over. Six all. Four. Service over. Seven. Six. Nice, the quick flick of the wrist 
from Bastian. Generating a lot of power through the wrist. Stop. Fault Service called on the serve and the flick. Service over. Nine, seven. Ten, seven. Eight, Game's been a little bit scrappy, really. There have been very little rallies. It's uh, very much on, on uh, who's serving better at the moment, and there's been some good returns of serve from the French boys. And I think fraction better stopping uh, at the net from the uh, Scottish boys. An easy net kill for the Scots to go into the interval lead at 11 8. Hello to Marion, just tweeted us watching the Scottish Grand Prix. Join the commentary from myself and Ray. And of course, Marion will be coming to Glasgow tomorrow evening to join us to watch some live badminton. Hello, Marion. I hope you're enjoying the commentary and I hope you're enjoying the, the pictures. Direct hit, <laughs> service judge. Good defensive work from the young Frenchman, and in the end, it's one shot too many to defend. Two point lead for the Scots. Yeah, should have been an easy, and it was easy in the end. The lift, all string on for the young Frenchman. The lift was way too short. There's not been a lot in this match at the moment. Uh, I get the feeling that the uh, French have a little bit more firepower when they've got it um, up in the air. So much of it has been on serve and receive. Thank 
Yeah, a little bit of frustration. Martin Campbell's face. Taking the shuttle around the head. Had an opportunity, certainly there, for the winner. Still a healthy four-point lead for the Scots. Good reactions from Campbell. Did well to get that shuttle back. Definitely a difference in the attacks. When the uh, Scottish boys have it up, they uh, tend to use uh, angled stick smashes to sort of uh, positional shots, whereas the uh, French tend to use um, a lot more power. Very good return of serve there, changing direction, quite deceptive. Shout out to Jordan, who has tweeted us, enjoying watching the Scottish GP on YouTube, listening to commentary from Mark and Ray, who we used to work with. So 15-19, important points now on the serve of Gitan Mittelheiser. The French certainly need something from these uh, serves. Another point or two and really put some pressure on the Scots. It's game point for Campbell and McHugh. No, a nice That's tight. A good stop. Yeah, really nice and tight. That's it. First game to the Scots. 21-16. I think just about good value for that first uh, set win, Ray. Would you agree? I, I would. It was... Um, it was quite a tight match because so much of it was on serve and receive and uh, it was a little bit scrappy. Um, not many uh, real formative rallies, um, but um, hopefully it'll get better in the second one. Yeah. The Scots were leading 12-11, went on a run of four points to really uh, put daylight between themselves and the French. And ended up taking the game quite comfortably in the end. And again, it's Yvette and Andrew Bowman issuing the instructions for the Scots. And the French back out on court, ready to go for the second game.
again all about serve and return. The flick serve from McHugh. Good athletic leap from Getan Mittelheiser in the middle of that rally. Misjudgment from Bastian. A shuttle dropping inside the baseline. Very good serve there. Ooh, clash of rackets. And the shuttle right back in the face of the Frenchman. <clears throat> in a game like this, so much relies on uh, the serving. And there's uh, some good serves going in from Martin Campbell. There's two on the trot that he's put that are excellent serves. Good play, good combination play from the French. All set up in the flick serve from the taller of the two Frenchmen. Very good play. Martin Campbell pressing the net there. Very aggressive. Another good serve. Uh, was excellent yeah. serve. Five. Scott's really serving well at the moment. Oh, yeah. Clipping the line. Pull, drop, cross court. And then Martin just electing to leave it. And you can see in the replay, certainly landing in. Very oh. good. Entertaining rally. Oh, I don't know how he got that back. Good rally, probably best rally the match really. Totally agree. That rally showed absolutely everything and uh, good positional changes. Um, at one stage, Martin Campbell was had total control of the net and was really looking dynamic. And uh, yet the French pair won the point. And the replay certainly. Good rally in the end from the French and that very snatchy smash technique from Basti and Kalsudi. Oh, change of tactic, change of direction out wide from the serve. We're just landing out.
Good block from McHugh. Well, then good vision from Mittelheiser. Pulling it across court. Oh, I think that would have been out. Yeah, a long way out. Very good defensive uh, play from the Scots there because uh, the French boys had the upper hand all the way there. Bastian seeing it late. He just couldn't get his racket around the shuttle. Two point lead for the French, or for the Scots, sorry. 20 minutes gone. Superb shot. And that took good vision to uh, uh, cross court the shot like that. Once again, it's the Scots to go into the interval with the advantage, two-point advantage at that, 11-9. Already one set to the good, 21-16. Michael Reed is the coach on the French side of the net, calming figure. Fort one, 20 seconds. Fort one, 20 seconds. Coach, please. Once again, don't forget to tweet us using the hashtag no. SOGP. Play. We'd love to hear from you. Good reply from the French straight after the interval. Two points in a row. few mistakes from the Scots here and it's making all the difference and uh, they can't let these uh, French boys get away too much now. Spell this for the French. Winning four of the last five points after the interval. Flick serve from Mittelheiser.
Good interception from Kersudi. Real purple patch for the French now, right? Yeah, the Scottish boys are making too many uh, errors. A bit like that soft error that uh, Patrick just made there. And they're looking a little bit more proactive around the net in that uh, when the loose one comes, they are trying to kill it. Whereas the Scottish boys are just keeping it in play. So there you saw an example of what I'm saying when I'm saying that the Scottish boys are just keeping it in play, whereas I think there's a few there that's got enough air for them to have, have just a bit more of a go at the shuttle so that they can uh, try and finish off the rally. And I think the French are just a bit more proactive in doing that. Yeah, and then poor errors like that also from the rear court don't yeah. help. Yeah, the Scottish boys have gone through a run of errors and... Uh, it shows in the scoreline. Only one point in the last ten for the Scots. Another lucky break from McHugh and Campbell. Yeah, the French did well. Campbell was pretty much right on top of the net, pressing early in that rally. Worked hard in defence, the French. So game point for the French on the serve of Bastien Carsoudi in this little flick serve. <laughs> nice way to win the game. His service action just looked a little bit suspect to me. Looked like he lifted the racket way too high, but uh, no call from the service judge. Net result, one game all, and uh, good play, it's particularly in the second half of that game for the French. But uh, the Scots just a little bit passive, Bray. Um, I, th I think the heads went down a little bit in, in, in that uh, game there, and I think that it's so important that they come out um, ready to uh, fight for the start of the third because the French will have uh, had the lift of winning that game and they're, they're, they're motivated now, their coach is talking to them, they're sort of uh, pushing them saying they can do it and uh, these two have got to rediscover their uh, self-belief. Yes, yeah, certainly the, the momentum with the French going into this deciding set. And it can so easily be got back because it's all about serve, receive, third shot. This it's um, it, 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 there, there've been so few long rallies and sort of uh, formative play that, that uh, they've got to get their serve back on on board. They've got to hold in it, and they've got to just be a little bit more proactive in trying to uh, uh, kill the shot when they get the uh, opening. And the French have done a good job of that. So much of it is about being positive and really going for the shot. If, if you're not committed, it's not going to happen. And uh, it's so important that they show a commitment right at the start that they believe that they can Final win. Game. Play. 
so the final game get down Mittelheiser to Martin Campbell and a fist pump from the Scottish boys and it's promising they, they were much more proactive at the, at the front of the court there Oh, a little bit of confusion on the French side of the net. Two, love. And a two-point start is quite important for them to, to get them feeling that they can do it. Yeah. And just two points, the momentum already swung. Very good serve though by the French boy there. Service over. Three, one. Oh, we should have the racket up there. Yeah, relentless from the French. Two, three. And a good response by the French after losing the first two points of the game. of positive feedback coming in on Twitter about our streaming quality this week. Yeah, thank you very much for that positive feedback. We are certainly enjoying bringing it to you. We'll be here I think three more matches this evening, all day tomorrow, all day Saturday. on Sunday just some geo blocking of co in operation on the streaming in the UK and Ireland of course you can see it on the 28 all the action delayed action from the finals on Sky Sports 3 I think Again, good play from the Scots. Service over. Six, four. Thanks to Mark Leith, who's just tweeted saying the Scottish Grand Prix looks aced on YouTube. Service of course, over. using the hashtag four, SOGP. Six. drive down the line from the Frenchman Six, all. Oh. And smash down the middle always likely Seven. to cause a little confusion in your opposition
Yeah, this time the flick called. I, I, I certainly felt Ray, it was just a matter of time. He's almost moving back before he impacts the shuttle. He's a tall guy as well, so that's, that racket must be way up. Had visions of them running <laughs> into each other and then shuttle falling harmlessly over the net, but uh, thank God it didn't happen. I have visions of a head rolling off there, <laughs> I think. Oh, that's a great shot. And he's played it a few times. That's a great shot. Nine, seven. That cross court at the net. Once again, this is Scott to level it up, controlling the last two rallies. Good aggressive return of serve. It Middle certainly Heiser. was, yeah. There was that same cross court net shot there, but Patrick McHugh was onto it straight away. He's seen it before. One of the areas I think that the Scottish boys are missing is um, the tall boy, Kasuri's. His um, uh, right hip is a bit of a weakness. If it, they could uh, just hit there a little bit more, try and get the lift and hit him in that spot there. Yeah, the flick serve was certainly not deep enough. The Scots were all over it on the attack and deserved to come away with the point. Mid-game interval, of course, in the third game. Both players switch sides. It's 11-10, one point advantage for the Scots. But the Scots look a lot more confident at the, the uh, changeover than they did in entering this third. And so uh, it's good to see them... Uh, have a bit of belief in theirself and uh, believe that they can win this match. This last part of this third match is going to hinge so much on the good serving. Good serving and good receiving. Eleven. Nice shot, the wide shot of the arena. And don't forget the hashtag SOGP for all your tweets. I think it's a bit of a worry that uh, 
the shuttle was as short as it was and the Scottish boys couldn't put it away. Uh, it's that they won it by uh, a shuttle going out the back. I'm sure if that had been on the uh, French boys' side, they would have uh, had that on the floor. Yeah, good awareness from Patrick McHugh. McHugh anticipated the shuttle coming short, rushed the net for the kill. I think a feature of this match is that Patrick's done something good like that and then he makes a mistake like that. You know, he's uh, uh, been a bit up and down in this match, really. Oh, and Middle Eyes are just getting a little bit lucky on the interception. They were, but the Scottish boys again, they had it. Um, they had the attack and they weren't able to capitalise on it. They, they didn't really put that shuttle away. Good cop, bad cop for Patrick, I think, in this match. You know, as you said, done some fine things, but then comes up with a poor error like that, uh, which should have been a routine smash. Absolutely. The French get their nose in front again. You just get the feeling that the Scottish boys' heads are gone down again and this is exactly the time they've got to have their heads up. Got to believe that you can do it. Ah, really, really good vision from the younger of the two Frenchmen. A lot of open space down that side. Kersudi is pushing it across in the replays, you can see. Excellent play from Martin Campbell there, really sharp at the net. And that's what I would like to have seen a little bit more in this match, taking those chances at the net when it just gives you that room. Good rally. Oh, superb net control from Mittelheiser. Yeah, and finished it off eventually. Really good rally, really good play. Thoroughly entertaining. It was, it was a good rally, but the Scottish boys uh, had the attack twice in there, and the French get the attack once, and then they finish it off. And... I just felt there that the French were starting to get confident that they could lift against the Scottish boys with impunity. Oh, it's going to be a tough game for the Scottish boys to win this one. 18, 14, play. Yeah, it's a, certainly an, an uphill struggle for the Scots. Four points down and the French getting the rub of the green Lovely. also. Yeah, that bit of luck. Oh, 
and a mistake from Martin Campbell takes Mittelheiser and Kersudi to match point one saved Yeah, and that's it. Three-game victory for Gaten Mittelhauser, Bastian and Karsudi. Too many unforced errors in the end during the middle section of that game for the Scots. I think it was costly. Ray? I, I think that's the sort of match where the uh, Scottish boys are going to uh, wake up in the middle of the night and think uh, we should have had that match somewhere. And uh, I'm sure the coach is thinking the same. Yeah, they were certainly uh, on top for a lot of that match. And... Patrick, as I said, played some great shots, but then made some really basic errors following a great shot, and uh, just can't do that at this level. Well, they all credit to the French boys. I mean, though they they're young and uh, uh, they play some uh, really good uh, quality uh, shots in that match. Particularly, I liked uh, uh, the cross court nets and uh, uh, also the firepower that they put yeah. into their attack. It was good. Yeah, good variety from the French and. Mm. Uh, always kept their opponents thinking and guessing and as all players leave the court it's the French who advance to the next round now our next match will be women's doubles France against Belgium Perrine Le Bonique and Antran for France against Stefianis and Severine Corvillan for Belgium <laughs> 